Hello, safety airs and fitness community. It's Michael from CrossFit Downtown Atlanta, bringing you the workout for Friday, April 9th. This is a gymnastics workout called Talent Show. Uh, the movements get more uh, technical as you move through the round. It's four rounds for time of 20 V-ups, uh, modified with uh, lying, lying knees to elbow, uh, pipe, 20 pike push-ups, and uh, 20 alternating pistol squats. So these things get more complex as we move through the round. So I'm gonna start with the most difficult or most uh, technical movement and move my way back down. First of which is the pistol squat. If you're not familiar with the pistol squat, it is a one-legged squat. So it's gonna look something like this. All right, I am not very good at these, so that was amazing. Once again, you can also hold your foot if you want to. Here, grab my foot, squat down, Stand up, and up. So the modification for the pistol squat is going to be the pillar squat, because uh, that's our first modification, then the kickstand squat, and then the wrap uh, pistol squat. So the pillar squat, this is our first modification. While we're warming up, we're gonna go through these movements uh, in the virtual classes. So first one, you're just gonna keep your knees and uh, heels as close together as you can, and you're gonna squat as deep as you can, trying to maintain this uh, pillar position. Here, as soon as you think you've gotten as low as you can, drop a little bit lower. I promise you'll be able to get there. You don't want your heels to come off the ground if you can help it, but that is not always the case for some of us with a bad hip and maybe ankle mobility. I am in that club. So again, down as far as you can go. If you feel like you've gone as far as you can, drop a little bit lower. Next, kickstand squat. You're gonna assume that same knee position, and all you're gonna do is take one foot backwards. Look at it from the side. You'll see the knees stay in line, and the foot just goes back. From here, all I'm going to do is drop into my squat. Notice that it's the nail of my toe on the ground, just giving me enough stabilization to bounce. Other foot here. From the front, which you see, again here. Squat ends at full extension of the hips and shoulders. And there. We don't want to turn this into a lunge, though. What, we're, what happens a lot of times is people, instead of going this, do this, and then just turn it into a lunge. Again, not a lunge, uh, kickstand pistol. Next modification is the wrap, is the, um, wrap around the pistol squat. So what that's going to do is you're going to assume that first position where you went to here for your kickstand, then you're going to pick up your foot and put it here on your ankle. Notice it's off the ground. So this is the most advanced modification to a pistol squat. So from here, you're just going to go down and come back up. If you lose your balance, that's fine, as long as you come all the way to full extension before you put the other foot down. Other foot, and stand. Those are our pistol squats and pistol modifications. Next movement is the pike push-up. Again, these are in reverse order from the workout. Pike push-up is our modification to a handstand push-up. If you have a wall and want to do handstand push-ups, feel free to do so. We don't have a wall, we're assuming that you don't, so we're gonna go with the pike push-up instead. Pike push-up, you start in a kind of upside down V, and you're trying to create a triangle on the ground with your hands and your head. So this is the bottom position if my if you were the looking up from the ground at my head and hands. I know, weird, a weird analogy. But here's what it's gonna look like. The most challenging version is up in your tippy toes when you're down, you're here like this. I'm not ready to start. My starting position is head through my arms. Then from here, I'm going to rock forward, creating that triangle with my hands and uh, head. Notice my elbows are back, not out to the side. I come up and press back into that full extension. If that's too hard, we're going to put our heels on the ground and then rock into our toes and then rock back into our heels. If that still proves to be too challenging, move your feet out and back to a point where you can do it. Now, if you've gone here and you still aren't getting all the way to the ground, you feel stuck like right here, all I want you to do is go all the way to the ground like so, then push yourself back up into that pike position. All right, that gets you the full range of motion. Um, without limiting any of the strength, but still getting there. So building the strength to get to a pike push-up and going through the full range of motion. 
Last movement is the via or the um, lying knees to elbow. We've done this before. We're going to start. Toes are pointed in front of you. Hands are pointed above you. And you're just going to reach your toes and your hands up to the same point. Straight legs, straight arms, if you can help. Our modification for that is simply going to be same movement of the torso, but bringing our elbows and our knees together instead. So here, here, here. All right, guys. So in reverse order, four rounds for time, 20 V-ups, 20 pike push-ups, 20 pistol squats. Good luck. If you enjoy these videos, please share and like them with your friends. If you don't, please keep that to yourself. Take care.